Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my kitchen. I'm that fat guy, and tonight I'm going to cook the Big Mon Steak Sandwich. I am so keen to try it. I love a good steak sambo. I'm going to link it down below. It's on the uh, Big the Man Shake website uh, for everyone to go and see. I didn't make it. I'm just ma uh, like I didn't invent it. Sorry, should I say? I'm just going to make it. So come along with me. Okay, folks, so the big man or the big man uh, steak sandwich calls for a beautiful piece of meat. This is a 500 gram rump steak. Uh, it calls for lettuce. Now, it does say rocket lettuce, so I don't really, I'm not a big fan of it, so I just went with leafy mix. Some tomato, caramelized onion, we got some mayo, uh, salt, pepper, and olive oil. And, uh, it does have some sourdough. They cut it a little thin to my liking. Uh, I might get it uh, thicker for next time around. So there is a, a little bit of uh, fat still on that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, uh, cut that off and uh, prep the steak. Now, usually uh, what I like to do is when it comes to cooking steak, if you were to pull it straight from the fridge and put it directly on the grill, what's going to happen is that it's not going to cook evenly because it's still cold on the inside. It's it, it just is it's not the best way to cook it. Um, so what I usually do is about half an hour before I'm going to actually throw it on the barbecue or the grill or whatever, pull it out of the fridge, and then what I do is I get my olive oil. I just pour a little bit on. Don't need a lot. Grab your salt and pepper. Of course, you know, you, you do it to flavor, do it to what you like. Just massage it in a little bit. Flip, and then flip again, all right? That's beautiful. So I let that sit for about half an hour, or 20 minutes, you know, whatever. It depends on how hot it is, but once that is, um, once that's all at room temperature, uh, just chuck it on the barbie and away we go. Okay, cool. See you out there. Alrighty, so we're outside. Got my steak. It's actually starting to rain. Can you believe that? It's been like full on drought, but as soon as I need to use the barbecue, it starts raining. So we're just going to chuck the steak on. Beautiful. I'm going to chuck the bread on as well. Uh, so, we'll just uh, scope out the bread. Oh, a little bit hot that one. I'm going to chuck that one at the back there. Now, I'm usually uh, of the notion that uh, you cook on one side until you start to see uh, the blood come through on the top of the steak and then you flip her over. I'm not one for constantly flipping the steak uh, and moving it around. Um, once you put it down, it's down. There you go, I'll just keep an eye on that bread. Don't want it to, to burn too much. There you go. That one's looking good. All right, so I see a little bit of the uh, fluids coming to the top gonna flip her over. I might have done a too good of a job cleaning my grill. That's looking nice. Right, folks, so we're back here. I've let the steak sit for a few minutes. Uh, pretty much as long as I took to cook it, I've let it rest for so we're gonna cut her up, put her on the bread, and make the sandwich. It's all pretty self-explanatory. Um, this steak here, it is fairly large. I probably can get about three portions out of it. Um, it does say serve four, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, I'm a bit of a big big guy, big eater, and I like to, uh, oof, that looks good. I do like it about medium rare. Um, that's the thicker side of the steak, but uh, just you let your knife do your work. And that looks really good. Beautiful. 
So I'll start off with the middle one and uh, I'll pop her straight on here. Now I'll switch this around so I can get a better shot. Okay. All we'll do is we'll put on the caramelized onion. Now it is fairly sweet, so I I do like a bit of it, um, but it is high in sugar, so you don't want to use heaps. Just a good spreading of. Ooh, that's a bit thick there. Now I'll chuck on a little bit of mayo. Ooh, already came out there. A little bit of lettuce. And a couple bits of tomato. And we'll flip her around. Now, I'm no pro chef, but that looks pretty good. A little bit rare, but uh, I'm okay with that. I, had to di I did have to cut it a little bit short because of the rain, but looking forward to it. It is a little bit, little bit rare, but I'm okay with that. So we'll give that a go. Mm. Mm. So good. <laughs> so, so good. I'd highly recommend that. That's, that's awesome. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you guys around, alright?